Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'd like to show you my new invention in motion simulation. I am Chris Berkholdt and this is the prototype of the motion integrated G seat. Like my previous G seat, it's all about adding the effects of motion and acceleration while driving or flying a simulated vehicle. Yet I believe this system is unlike any other motion device currently out there. You see, all motion uh, systems currently use one of two approaches. One is a motion platform and the others are G seats. Both are good in their own rights, but both also have their limitations in uh, capabilities. For example, motion platforms usually are not very good in simulating sustained forces, especially in the upward regime. While uh, G seats can do this, G seats uh, generally lack the overall sensation of uh, motion. Now the motion integrated G seat succeeds in combining the positive effects of motion platforms with those of G seats and integrates it into one single system. It can thereby uh, deliver a really good sensation of motion and acceleration in all directions, unlike motion platforms and G seats. Now, let me show you how it does this. So like a motion platform, the seat is able to tilt and move. It can tilt forward and backward, left and right, and it can also move up and down. This is crucial for flight simulators and I'll come back to that later. So far it's acting like a motion platform, but watch this. As the seat is moving, the geometry of the seat base and the backrest is also changing. This change in geometry is applying or removing pressure to the body and it's therefore acting like a G-seat as it moves. Not only the geometry of the seat is changing, also the seat belt and the shoulder harness are tensioned or released according to this schedule and is therefore also applying or removing pressure to the body. Now I'm going to jump into the seat and show you how this feels. Okay, imagine I'm in a car now and uh, I hit the gas, the car accelerates forward and my body is being pushed back into the seat. Uh, in a motion integrated G seat, uh, they, it tilts back uh, and uh, the geometry of the back is changing and giving me a sense of pressure from the back so uh, this leaves me with the impression of being pushed back into the seat. Uh, opposite direction, I hit the brakes, the car decelerates and my body is propelled forward. Uh, the whole seat tilts forward and um, the geometry is now such that I don't feel pressure from the back anymore. However, the shoulder harness is tensioned and this gives me the impression of being held back by it. Uh, left and right acceleration works just the same, except uh, that I feel pressure only from one side, whereas the other side, uh, the pressure is released uh, also with the shoulder harness, giving me the impression of being uh, pushed sideways. Uh, one great thing about the G-seat is that uh, all these motions are reversible instantaneous, so it does not need any motion washout like a platform. Uh, all the uh, motion can be reversed instantaneously and very quickly. Uh, now for the best part, it's the up and down accelerations. Um, not uh, so big a deal in a car, it's uh, mainly when you drive over an uneven road or uh, hit a road bump, something like that. Uh, but it's uh, very important when uh, flying aircraft, uh, because the up and down acceleration is uh, the predominant force um, you feel in an aircraft. Uh, it can be used to, again, simulate turbulence, which is great. Uh, but uh, especially when you um, have accelerated uh, motion in an aircraft, for example, you, you pull back on a stick, on a flight controls, uh, your body is being pushed down. Uh, this is called uh, uh, pulling G's. So you feel um, Earth gravity, but uh, in an accelerated um, manner. So uh, you pull back on your control stick and you're being pushed down in the seat. Uh, that seat lowers, um, which lowers my eye point, which is uh, what you get when you are being pushed down. Uh, so this uh, visual impression correlates uh, with the uh, acceleration. Uh, also the uh, 
geometry now is such that I feel pressure from the seat base and from the back. Uh, the shoulder harness and the seat belt is released, so I have the impression of being pushed down uh, into the seat. Uh, now my most favorite part is the upward acceleration, something that motion platforms simply cannot simulate. Uh, it comes to play when you uh, pull f uh, push forward on the control um, on the controls of an aircraft, and the nose bunts down, and uh, you your body is accelerated upwards. Uh, also, when for example you're flying upside down, you feel an from your perspective an uh, upward acceleration, lifting you out of the seat. Uh, here, the seat uh, rises, uh, which uh, rises my eye point, which is what you get when you are being accelerated upward. Uh, I don't feel any pressure from the back uh, and the base anymore, but the, the sh uh, shoulder harness and the seat belt is now uh, tight, giving me the impression of hanging upside down into them, being held back by the, by the seat belt. Uh, like all other motion, um, these are all uh, sustainable forces. So uh, with motion platforms, uh, you only get the acceleration onset queuing, but uh, with this device, uh, you can really simulate sustained uh, forces. For example, I, I pull chi in an aircraft. Uh, the pressure uh, of being pressed, pressed in the seat now, the, um, I, I can feel this as long as uh, I fly this maneuver. Uh, it's not limited uh, by the motion system, uh, which is great. Also on the upside and down. I can fly upside down as long as I can stand it or the aircraft can handle it. Uh, and again, uh, these motions are reversible, quickly, which you need because uh, for example, you fly upside down like this, and now you pull back on the control stick. You go into an, an opposite acceleration. You be pushed back into the seat, and uh, this is done uh, instantaneously uh, without any delay or something. Uh, this feels very good. Uh, again, the up and down uh, part of the seat can uh, uh, really good to be used for simulating turbulence. All the effects of the motion integrated chi seat can work uh, for their own, uh, but they can also work uh, together in uh, unison. For example, you um, uh, decelerate the car while uh, making a turn, or I don't know, you, you pull chi while uh, decelerating, uh, it's all working together, all separately, uh, which is just great. Uh, the seat. Uh, can do all this without requiring a lot of space. Actually, uh, this is a picture of the seat installed in my FA18 Hornet cockpit. As you can see, there's not a lot of space uh, inside such a cockpit, but uh, however, it's all the seat uh, needs. And uh, this means it can effectively be installed in any fixed space uh, cockpit, turning it into a cool full flight simulator. Speaking of uh, eye point movement, there's uh, one thing you might have already asked yourself, is um, does uh, the seat work with a VR headset? Uh, let me get this real quick. So I've already told you that um, while the seat moves, uh, your eye point is uh, moved in uh, just the same way as your body would move under acceleration. Uh, this means uh, that the seat is not only compatible with the VR headset, it's absolutely great with it because inside the VR world you adjust move as uh, you would um, in a real vehicle uh, like already demonstrated if you are uh, for example braking your body is uh, being propelled forward it's the same thing you see uh, inside VR uh, up and down uh, it's the same thing in all, in all directions so with VR it uh, even gives you an even greater uh, immersion and uh, you basically all you would need for a really good simulation is uh, just the, the seat and the VR headset and some sort of controls uh, to really feel like you are moving in a 3D uh, environment. This uh, is really awesome. Well that's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to find out more about the Motion Integrated Cheese Seat, check out my website at simpit.info or send me an email to bergeson at simpit.info. What we're going to do next is find out how the seat performs in a ground-based vehicle simulation. 
So join me in video number two of this series where I'm going to take the seat for a ride in a rally race car. See you there.